After party, go into the next area. Don't know right, where it is. Let's, uh, Welcome away. Let's Supposed to meet Lucifer. Uh, Lucifer. Spoken like a true necromancer. Next stop, Welcome away. How are we gonna How are we gonna out party Satan? Whoa, big dip. So what's uh, what's Satan like? Do we? We call him Satan or the, the devil. What's his? Actually, am I caring too much about what Satan wants? That's probably not a good thing, right? First of all, take a couple of breaths, okay? Oh, my wife is suddenly so much. You You're fine before. You know. Wow, it's really you. I can't believe it. Celebrity fawning song song. Everybody falls into the reverence trap. Cyrus the Great would have shaken his hand. I mean, you can't help it. But there's only two things you gotta know about the little horn, okay? The first is that him and Daddy had a falling out after Lucifer thought he could run the family business better than his old man. He started the war, he lost the war, so he ended up here in Abaddon, aka Hell, aka the place where it smells like a wet anteater even in winter. And second, he didn't make the rules, but he has to enforce them. Think of him like the first kid sent to detention and forced to become, like, a hall monitor. He knows he's a bit of a goober, and he doesn't like it any more than you do. Okay, but he's, like, evil, though, right? Like, he invented evil? Oh, we're talking about the serpent and the forbidden fruit now? Well, if you ask me, he didn't invent evil. He invented, uh, dissent. Opposition. The idea of, uh, going another way. Of putting chocolate milk and chocolate cereal and not caring if it tastes like too much. Of calling your treehouse your house and your house your dirt box. Of doing your own thing. You know, I can't help but feel like you're defending him, Sam. Morningstar doesn't need defending, Lola. He's got the best attorneys in the universe down here. Okay, I can see the lights. Almost there. Hold on. We get around fast in this thing. <coughs> That's a big line for this party. Welcome way. Last stop. Watch, watch, watch your head. This place used to be, you know, actually, never mind. You gotta do the hike. Might as well let you discover it for yourself. Luke's is the only house. It's the big one at the top. And remember, a night out drinking usually starts a little apprehensive. Songs of humanity secrets only you and your mates know the lyrics to. Have fun. Text me to any cab stand if you need a ride somewhere. I'm usually just cleaning up puke. So. Cool. Alright. I guess we're going cutting to the front of the line. Like we usually do. You know, I always get nervous before walking into parties. Like, I get this idea that everyone's going to turn and look at me right uh, when I get there. Or just I, I thought go. only Satan lived here. Well, yeah, now. But back in the day, this place used to be the fucking Grover's Corners in nowhere. Yeah, it wasn't just Satan. His fallen angel pals and him used to have the whole block. Why'd they move? Eh, some folks just like switching up the zip code every thousand years. Who knows? Okay. That Continue. guy isn't cool enough to own a pair of sunglasses. Well, don't worry about it yet. See that giant ass line of people? I don't think we're getting in for a while. No, there's there has to be another way. Well, let's check it out. Okay, cool. Let's talk to you. This is the line to get into Satan's party, right? None other. Uh, where's your sleeping bag and coffee pot? Hold it, come on. Guys, there's gotta be some faster way. Haven't any of you seen Adventures in Babysitting? If a bunch of white fourth graders can get into a jazz club... Here's a faster way, definitely. We see people cut through every night. Some people. Let's just keep on. Maybe we can convince whoever's at the door to let us in. I mean, yeah. we don't even want to, like, party. We just want to outdrink Satan. Bada bing, bada boom. It'll take like ten minutes. Uh, all right, let's try it. Um, hello. Hi, I'm Gooseneck. I'll be your first floor carriage for the evening. It's the only way up, unless you somehow smuggled in rock climbing gear. Uh, is this safe? Heights kind of give me a little anxiety. Oh, I'm very safe. My last inspection and renewed certification was three months ago by one Misha Vasily. And she would know better than anyone being here on account of shoving three different people down elevator shafts. Just let me know when you want to go up one. 
Two okay. Customers. Let's head up. Don't know why you would be down here, but. Oh shit! <laughs> Jesus! Whoa! Sorry, it's a little. Oh, a line's a lot longer than I thought. This morning. Second floor, dish mops, hand towels, and segregated washrooms. Segregated Jazz washrooms, huh? This obviously isn't a department store from the forties. You're in hell. Thanks, dude. Thank you. What time is it? A half hour after you asked me the last time. I mean, how long have we been standing here, jackass? More ruins. You know, I'm surprised the devil would let anybody live on his property. You'd think he'd want Zanzibar all for himself. Oh no, quite the contrary. From what I've heard, Satan's a real people person, you know? Yeah, but didn't him and his friends have some kind of falling out? Maybe they just got sick of the line. Yep, probably. Okay, nice uh, port potties you got there. What? What? The heck? Hi, we'd like to... Yes, I'm perfectly safe. We all get inspected every 90 days. Do you think demons can only hold jobs they're unqualified for? What? No. <sighs> Whatever. Uh, sorry, but are you, are you, aren't you the exact same demon on the first floor? I'm Feeny, the second floor carriage. Ah, oh, different, different name. Okay, we'd like to uh, go up, please. Hop aboard, Slim Jims. Two up, doors closing. I wonder, do you oh, have a third right, brother? Take it, take it easy. I can't control the weather. Oh, well, almost to the top. And oh, there's the other guy. For only two percent of falls. Third floor. Everybody out. That looks like a Ferris wheel. Hey, so this Ferris wheel for my nightmare. Oh, it is. Looks like it's seen better days. Maybe turning the island into a horrifying amusement park scared Satan's neighbors away. Nah. I used to die for this shit. Then why'd they move? What was the falling out? As long as it keeps the foot traffic away. Don't know, don't care. All right, what do you have to say, man? Hey, uh, can we, uh... First of all, I'm not the same demon. I know you motherfuckers all think <laughs> like, But I'm Spandrel, the third floor carriage. No, 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 we... we don't... And second, yeah, I've been inspected, honey. What, you want to check my ass for tags, check my balls, see if I've been fixed? Okay, we... we're getting a little in the weeds here. We'd like to go a level up, please. If this place even has an end. Oh, it does. You're almost there. But, uh, watch the attitude. Sometimes our claws slip if we're not feeling the vibe. Watch your shit, don't drop it through the cage. I'm not diving down to get it. Oh, why didn't Satan just make more stairs? Because Satan likes to keep demons employed, that's why. Oh, what a nice guy. Fourth floor, get the fuck out. Alright, who wants to talk to me this time? Nobody? Hm. Oh my god, there's another carriage. Okay, yep. Uh, hello. Hi! I'm Ballister, your fourth floor carriage. Want to go up? Great. Great. That's... Yes, thank you. Okay. Nicest guy? Well, I don't know. The first guy was fine. Your, um, associates seem a bit on edge tonight. Only the bottom and top floors have bathrooms. Oh, uh, okay. That's not true at all. Fifth floor, the Tibbity Top. Zabulba, 616 Welkin Way. Everybody out! Zibalba. Oh shit, Jerry, I, I mean Terry, Baker's blowing up. Ugolino has an extra invitation. Um, sorry, okay. but what's, what's Bicker? It's the social media down here. Look at your phone, it comes pre-installed. There, see, you can get good info on what's going on in hell. Yo, uh, what's the commercial say? Geotagged, user specific. It's a nice way to distract from the perpetual torment. Or to just post pictures of your pets lying in sunlight. Uh, those posts aren't about us, right? I mean, there's probably another Milo and Lola here. No, it's about you. You rarely see posts not about you. It's pretty user-focused. I mean, what's the point of social media if it's not a mirror reflecting your every insecurity? Oh, here's Wormwood. Hey, it's Milo and Lola. 
still on that mission to get out of hell, huh? I'll just be going into the party now with my special uh, VIP invitation. Aren't you coming? Oh, wait. You can't. Oh, are you, like, tormenting us now or something? Yes, that is... That is the idea. <laughs> See you inside. Uh, or not, because you suck. Laugh at them, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Screw that oh, thing, Lola. Let's just check Bicker and find other people with a spare invite. Really? Okay, cool. Look, here. There's... Uh, I see two of them, and uh, we only need one. <sighs> Whatever. Why don't we need both? There's two of us. There's... There's a demon who says he needs help apprehending someone. And a woman, Linda, who says she has an invite to give away. She just wants someone to get her a drink. This'll be downright easy. Yeah, this is not gonna be that easy. See this huge line? If it was that simple, they'd all run off and bargain with these losers. Nah, they're all just... Wasn't it you who told me about that test that proved people would wrongly stand in a longer line just because everyone else was doing it? Mm, wasn't me, but whatever. It beats waiting around. Let's get back and text Sam to pick us up. Oh, uh, okay. So we have to go back to... Bobaline Park? Oh, or... Little... I can't read what this is. Okay. All right, so do, uh, we have to go back down these goddamn elevators. Uh. Want to go all the way to the bottom or take the long way? Oh, all the way. Express, please. The full ride. You got it. Head it down. Watch your feet. Probably should have at least talked to the door man. Was it inside the volcano? A, vol a volcano? It kind of looks like it. Oh, my feet are really sore. They got me pushing boulders up mountains all day now. It's good for your hamstrings, but some cardio wouldn't hurt, you know? What? Well, your feet are sore? You're not the one wearing heels. Huh, when do we get Sam's over? Thanks, Sam. So? All partied out? Normally people are more covered in blood and viscera. But far be it for me to tell you how to live. We didn't even get in. There's a line around the fucking world back there. Oh, we have a plan though. There's some people have invites and some people have uh, have spares. So if you wanted to get invited to cut the line, yeah, I don't need the damn transcript. Whose tree do you want to shake first? There's a demon in uh, Bobble and Park who says he needs help catching somebody. But there's also a human woman who just wants a drink. But we know so... it can't just be that, or else it would have already been done. So... Ah, classic case of too many good ideas. It's like 30 years of all over again. Guess you got some picking to do. Ah, uh, let's just go to the park first. Oh, I didn't even see that on the bottom. Guy. Sounds like he needs help. It'd be, uh, it'd be nice to do something good at the same time, right? Maybe we're gonna track down a mass murderer or something? I'm kind of hoping it's not that, but yeah, sure. Uh, looks like he works at the school. I wouldn't worry about it. But maybe I'm wrong. I usually am. What school? There's a school in hell. Eh, let's leave the spoilers till your second playthrough. What does that what mean? What does that mean? Oh! Let's leave all the annoying questions still then, too, okay? Next stop, Baba Line Park. Baba Line Park. What does that even mean? So, Sam, you said there's a, uh, there's a school here? Yeah, the Nastron School of Physical Suffering and Mental Anguish. Go Wildcats! Ooh, this, the game is not like it's these where parts. demons learn how to hurt meat puppies like you most uh, most effectively. More pertinent to your personal predicament, it looks like your little soon-to-be friend Fella works there in uh, Bobline Park. It's also where you guys just just go. If you remember, like ten minutes ago, did you go to Nastron's to learn how to be a psychopomp? 
No, I am strictly autodidactic down here. Not to say I haven't had teachers, just uh, not to do this job. So, uh, how'd you get Radio, this job? almost a bobble Hold on to something, the, uh, the tides can be a little choppy coming in. Okay, uh, thanks for the info. Well, Merry fucking Christmas. And uh, just remember that when you sign for the tip. We don't have money down here. So, this place should look a little familiar. You got processed here. Remember? Yeah, I remember. Remember that? When you were processed? Yes, we remember. Of course you do! You don't forget a thing like that, your first promenade through hell. All right, the guard post is up there, right above the bookstore. It's usually more busy on a... what day is it? Tuesday? But, you know, whatever. It's your story. Okay, cool. All right, see you later, Sam. We'll be back. I'll be honest, now that we're actually here, I'm having second thoughts. Why? Because we picked a damn demon over a human being. Like, I know Sam seems... Yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Look, look, yeah, I'm trying oh. to get out of here. Um, pardon me? Shit, I, I gotta go. Two test humans escaped their pen. Nope. Okay, you two. I know this sack smell bad, but you can't just... We're not, no. Are you fella? Because we're here for the spare invite to Satan's party, your, um, vicar post. Oh, that. Well, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm the guy you want. Great. I'm Lola. This is Milo. Uh-huh. You look a little young. Ah, uh, random question. Were you the detectives on Earth? Ooh, killed by a serial killer in a game of cat and mouse? Sure. Yes, detectives. Very, very, uh, very good detectives. Well, I've never met a detective before, but you sure talk the talk. I just need a little help with a work thing. I'll, uh, I'll explain on the way. On the way to what? Feisties. The, uh... Well, they call it a sports bar, but <laughs> it's really just a rat hole with six half-broken TVs and 20 IPAs. So a sports I bar. I got IPAs down here. Oh, sorry, <laughs> we sort of skipped introductions. I'm Fella. I run campus security here at Nastron. The job's easy enough. Mostly catching example humans. The teachers use to show students where to shove cattle prods. But recently, it's been the opposite problem. Some assholes have been sneaking into hell, and the fuckers are still alive! What? How? Oh yeah, these 20-something pre-med idiots will put themselves into comas to vacation here. <laughs> Does a real number on the, uh, uh, the gateways. Wait, that's actually, like, possible? You can come to hell when you're still alive? Oh yeah, definitely. This place only locks one way, you know, metaphysically speaking. Anyway, this morning, Debbie down in Dispatch told me the head count's off. One too many. I've already checked the grounds, so it's gotta be one of the folks at Feisty's. So why don't you just go in and get him, or her? Cause these Waldos are tricky. They know what I look like now. I need someone on the inside. A human to pick him out. And you two are just human enough to pass. Okay, so if we do this, you'll give us your extra invite? Yeah, you're not going to take whoever you were talking to on the phone? Felicia? No. My roommate doesn't have dibs. That's... Uh, I was just trying to make her feel better for accidentally eating my pants. So don't you worry about it. Once the interloper's caught, you'll get the invite fair and square. So, you detectives want to help me out or not? If it gets us into Satan's, we're your people. Oh, thank ye gods. I could use the night out. Feisty's is just down the street here. <laughs> Won't be a tick. Okay, I'm guessing upstairs? I can't remember. I feel like I've been there already. Are you, are you, are you following us? Are you showing me the way? You're showing me the way. Okay, you're slow. Oh, uh, okay, that's right, yeah. This the, what's the other one that? Something about a broken hand. Here we are. Before we go in, I've gone ahead and pre-prepared a backstory. A cover story, if you will. You two are blasphemers from the plain of burning sand. Come to try out their hot wings, and 
I am, uh, well, Jesus. Really. I'm your child. Your dead child. You made with your bodies. While you were still living, of course, but you... I'm, uh, sorry, fella, but I'm not really, uh, just how does this make sense? Yeah, are there really babies in hell? Wouldn't they just, like, get a pass? Um, no one really gets a pass for being a selfish, narcissistic sociopath. Babies get the fucking express lane here. But, and last wow. but not least, we should have a password, just in case things go wrong and we have to regroup. Like, uh... Why don't we just say, let's What about, what about, wonderful weather we're having tonight? Oh, yeah, cool. That's, uh, makes us sound like we're Georgian spies or something. Okay, anything else? Uh, no, not that I can think of. You guys seem legit, though. Thanks for helping me out. Yeah, sure. We should, like, get a drink after this, right? Oh, we I don't know about that. Um, to be entirely candid, it's been a slow period, socially speaking, for me. A lot of times I talk into my phone when it's not even on. No, oh, jeez. Uh, maybe. <laughs> like, let's just see where the night takes us. And if the night takes us away from you and everything about this, then maybe the planets just weren't aligned. Okay, well, we, we'll just, we'll, we'll circle back on that one later. That's, that's fine. Well, uh, whatever hey, you're set, let's... Oh, okay. Is this so different? this is what this place looks like during normal oh, no, I've been hours. Here. Yeah, this actually used to be a pretty cool dive bar called the Fowler's Snare. Got made into a feisties when the owner tried possessing a puzzle box and got stuck. They do make good cauliflower nuggets, but chain bars give me the fucking creeps. I'll meet you at the bar. We should get a drink first. Okay, so what do I need to get? Intimidate, probably. Holy shit! Felicio! Oh, shit. He's back! Shit. It's you, isn't it? <laughs> what Weather the fuck, is really man? wonderful tonight, right? <laughs> what you think? About the weather? You're already pulling the ripcord? We just got here. Yeah, well, I didn't know this disguise was so shoddy. Just a... You're detectives! You said so yourself. And why would you lie about something so trivial? Find the person that doesn't belong. I'll be, uh... I'll be right outside when you're done. Hey, Felicio, why are you dressed up like that, you big fucking weirdo? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, let's get a drink. Welcome to Feisties. Please notice and appreciate all of our playful doodads and shit on the walls. Now, what are you pups in the mood for? Uh, sports fanatic, liquid courage, liquid. Liquid Courage and She's Ball. Ah, uh, well. Uh, maybe sports for that? I, don't know. I guess I'll have a uh, bang bang. One bang bang coming up. Oh I'll my god. The same. It's like a going off in my hand. All right, all right. Attention, everybody. Look, I know, finding ourselves in hell, it's a bit of a bummer. <laughs> Boo! I certainly wish Michelle and I could have gotten married before our party bus plummeted over that cliff, but let's not let our untimely deaths ruin what could still be the best bachelor's party of all time. Woo! All right, let's get to investigating. Uh, maybe we should talk to Charlie first. Let's sniff out the meddler, but it takes less than 10 minutes. <laughs> hey, after you. Actually, oh, well, if it's those people in the corner, I feel like I should have got the cheese bowl drink. Oh, I can. Okay. See, so you should have showed me that first. I'll take a Ling Chi. A Ling Chi. You got it. Me too. Oh, good. Okay. Don't even say that. Flaming fun feisties. All right. Cool. We got our. Drinks. Ah, oh, crap. Do I need? Hey, uh, fellow 
hooligans, what are we watching? <sighs> the carnal malefactors are getting their asses handed to them by the virtuous pagans. Huh, what's the score? It's like soccer. The score doesn't matter until it does, but hey, at least it's boring. At least it's boring? Hiya. You're not, um, pre-med by any chance, are you? Thanks for the stirring conversation. Okay, well. Charlie, Charlie. All those drinks coming. I'm Lola, this is... Yeah, I'm Pete. What is it? What do you want? What? What? What is it? What? Why are you so jumpy, huh? You know you're already dead, right? Look, just, just leave me alone, okay? I make small talk about as well as I make balloon animals, so beat it. Okay. Well, that's a stone wall if I ever saw one. Yeah, he's definitely a person of interest, but he's not giving us much. Let's question some other... What's this guy's deal? Oh, Barry? Barry can never handle the sauce, so we always prank him. Honestly, I think the demons took it a little far this time. What with crucifying him onto a dartboard, but <laughs> funny's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so he yes, says, you're right. Gotcha, ma gotcha, farfing Nogan. Okay. So, Greg, tell me again. How exactly did you become the unquestioned Grand Emperor of Earth? Oh, such a long story. My good friends Han, Indiana, and uh, Richard Kimball were like arrested oh. by the uh, current, well, the previous uh, Grand Emperor Dick Decker. Thankfully, a law had been passed to prevent gerrymandering, and I won the election in a landslide regardless. Well, naturally, I banished the Fallen King to uh, Dinotopia. Oh, the Grand Emperor of Earth! Your Majesty, this is an honor. Uh, yeah, thanks, my, uh, my disciples. Greetings. And so is the, uh, Grand Sovereign of Terra Firma. Your responsibilities are what, exactly? Oh, this and that. Mostly defending all of humankind from various, uh, plagues by d directing, uh, disease research. Okay, just drop the act, pal. We know it's you. You know I'm who? You're the one that doesn't belong here. Not really. If you mean that it's unfair that a, a musculoskeletal disease since birth condemned me to die at a very young age, then yes, thank you. I agree. I don't belong here. Oh, uh, sorry. Don't be. Yeah, I should have read that. says, you don't deserve anything in life but the ability to complain. Uh, excuse me, waitress. Could I have another, another martini? I am not a waitress. I'm also not a woman. I don't know if you can see that. Oh. Pardon me, man. <laughs> you haven't been this twatted since the last work party at the sawmill. Sorry, I'm Eliza. Are you two uh, part of the groom to be's stag show? I'm not sure who's part part of the party and who's um who's buying booze. You know. Uh, seen anyone a little too happy here? Someone maybe looks like they're sightseeing, asking for directions. That's a pisser. I was just I was just asking for directions, wasn't I? Uh, <laughs> you wouldn't be, uh, looking for me, would you? Man, it's gotten really loud over here, Rakshasas. <laughs> Do you want to maybe go somewhere a little more... I'm good. It was nice meeting you. God damn it! <laughs> uh, well, that's my two losers. <laughs> See you on the flip side. Yeah, it's getting... It's getting a little late. Does it get late here? I think I should probably... I should be heading out, too. Well, I mean... Uh... You don't crap, Lola. Both of them. They smell like we're gonna have an electrical fire. What does that mean? Ultra fishy. I told you to stop with those fucking obscure smell jokes. I'm not kidding you. Seriously though, Pete is kind of strange acting, but Greg was just lying to that demon just now. But Eliza is acting really weird too, and nobody seems to know who she is. God, this is all reminding me of something. Ding, 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 ding. Oh my memory. god. When Lola was hall monitor, nervous about talking to the taller boys. Or maybe it's when she told on Cynthia Lackey when Cynthia cheated on her algebra test. There's a lot of possibilities here. <laughs> it's hard to pick just one. Hey, Wormorn. How's Drix? Nice to see ya. Glad to see you're putting maximum effort into your, uh, work. Well, I don't get up in the morning just because your melatonin levels have decreased. But I showed up just now for a memory you're jostling. Wanna know what it was? You were in the 10th grade, washing your jeans. Your dog had just been run over by your neighbor. 
and you were thinking that the world was shit and people were dung better. And now you're looking around this bar for someone who's probably dung better too. I mean, it must take a certain kind of cretin to sneak into hell, right? And now you're standing there, wondering if you're any better. Where are you sneaking here? wondering if I still had those jeans. You do still have those jeans. They're in your closet. On top of the wish chest you prayed on to shrink two inches. Walk her out, Lola. Come on. She's a, she's an undigested piece of cheese, right? A, a momentary mental disorder. Look, whatever. Just make sure you pick the right gal, local H. I couldn't bear to watch Father Christmas add more time to your sentence for wrongful prosecution. Hmm. Don't say anything. I'm fine. I really think we should go after Greg, try to get a confession. I don't know. Well, Isa seemed weirder to me. We could split up. We're not splitting up. We're in a bar in hell. Just pick one. You want Eliza. I think Greg. Want to talk more to Greg? Yeah, Eliza really made my arm hair stand on end. Let's let Greg go and question her some more. Uh, see you later, guys. Good to... Good to meet ya. Okay, well, there goes the Emperor, so let's hope Eliza or whoever here is our person of interest. Well, the thing is that we... You no, know, I used to play. Uh, not oh, professionally, boy. but in college before I tore my, uh, whatever cup. No shit. Yeah, but now nah, I just possess pigskins, make them fly into old ladies' faces. I'll watch out for you on the wide world of sports. What can I get you, youngins? Alright, so it seems like... One frightening visitor. A lot for me. Who is it? Wormwood the said something visitor. about a, a woman get the right gal. So I imagine it must be Eliza. I'm looking for. So yeah, we're gonna go after her. Uh, courage, just in case. Let's see where is she. That's Eliza. Hey, uh, Eliza. Oh, um, yes. Forget something. Why leave? Let's get to know each other. I wanna, I wanna know more about you. You seem uh, interesting. <laughs> I guess I would be in this lot. Not that. I mean, Charlie seems entertaining enough. <laughs> oh wow, what's that? Sorry. Uh, for someone who probably had a gerbil growing up. Eliza, can you just answer one question for us? Why are you in hell? I recall my dear old brother. Under the autumn light When he was four and I was more I pissed him with a knife Why are you singing this? Yeah, and you're fucking insane. You killed your brother? Lola. No, yeah. Your friend's pretty accurate there. I was born missing a certain capacity of reason. Some ducklings wouldn't think it fair me being here. What with my mental deformity. But I couldn't dampen it. It's like trying to not go to the bathroom. Not fall in love. So who's really to blame if we're all paper dolls cut by God's hand? If he slipped a little with me. The sun rose the next morning like nothing happened. And in a way, nothing did. You, you can't blame God, Eliza, for your actions. Just like I couldn't blame my computer acting weird when my parents found naked drawings of cartoon <laughs> characters on my hard drive. When did that happen? No, I'm, I'm making a, a made up, a, a totally made up example. So, uh, shallow. Milo, can I, uh, get your number? Uh, he's a... Um... Yeah, uh, new phone, but I think it's a 666-555, uh, the three's in there somewhere. I'll just look you up in the directory. Anyways, it's been a gas. I'm sure we'll bump into each other again. Forever's a long time. Uh, uh don't tell me it was Greg. Well, that's just great, Milo. It's obviously not that crazy bitch. Who has your number now? What do you think you're gonna do with that, huh? The plan is to leave, not date. And if the plan fails? Oh, you're gonna dry hump a fucking whatever. The point is, she's not our guy. Well, I'm sorry. All right, maybe it, maybe it was Greg. Who knows? And I feel like we kind of used all the water from the dish rag in here. Maybe not. I don't know. We can walk around a bit, but I think we should reconnect with Fella. Just you know, let him know what happened. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Can we talk to anybody? Well. Shoot. I shouldn't listen to Warmward. I put too much faith in that. That the one thing makes sure you get the right gal. Who are you talking to, fellow? Like, no, you're no, just no, I, I, I got two humans working on it. Oh. Hey, how's it going? Any luck catching that creep? 
I'm gonna be off soon. About to just head out. Cause believe me, I am ready for my shift to be over, you know? I'm just gonna let it fail and see what it's Yeah, we totally got the person. Oh, it's you a, picked uh, the for me, okay. Named, uh, Eliza, yeah. Eliza? I was expecting like uh, Samuel or something, but don't ask me why. Maybe because that's my brother's name? Uh, best not to think about it. Delinquency department? Yeah, oh, hi, Jenny. Hi, uh, how you doing? Yeah, good, good. Anyways, we found the Waldo. <laughs> yeah, it's been a night. <laughs> a meat pile named Eliza. She's in Feisty's right now. She's actually... Oh, boy. I don't think she is. Oh, okay, you didn't walk at Feisty's. Yeah, yeah, you know, no, it, it took longer than I thought. It really did. <laughs> Thanks. Say hi to a Dramalek for me. Okay, bye. Shit, I forgot he left her for his podiatrist. Uh, what'll happen to, uh... Oh, nothing much. Uh, they'll probably take him and give him a stern talking to, you know. Right before condemning them to eternity in the Ninth Circle. Uh, they'll be hacked into infinite pieces by multi-limbed feathered serpents who do not fuck around, let me tell you. I've seen them in action. Woo! You gotta wear a raincoat when you go down there for lunch. Isn't that punishment a little disproportional to the um, crime? Not really. They've seen what shouldn't be seen by living eyes. God really does not appreciate frauds of any sort, you know. It's, uh, it's kind of a whole thing with him. Thanks a lot, guys. This is such, such a big help. Uh, I know you did it just for the invite, but... And when you get to the party, you should get that drink with me. You said you'd maybe have with me. Sound good? Yeah, most definitely. You All right, get out of here, you knucklehead. You okay. <laughs> Just uh, drop my name at the entrance and I'll let you in. Thanks again, guys. Oh, God. Okay, just uh, slowly walk by. Slowly walk by. Yep, nothing to see here. All right, yep. Oh, we're walking this way because we have to get to the taxi. Well, I don't even know who Peter was. It probably was Greg. What? What just happened? Okay. So, should we, like, talk about what just... You know, Milo, I I just don't want to, okay? I'm going to take a mulligan on this one. I just, I don't want to think about it, so I'm just not. There are some things that are just beyond. Like, I, I really like chocolate milk i really like it and i and i donated a lot of my time to homeless shelters and animal shelters and money to organizations and so fuck it okay i'm gonna enjoy my chocolate milk without any pontificating about how the cows are sad and the workers are sad and the truckers that ship it are sad and how the agricultural industry is fucked up in countless ways and and so i i'm just i i am chocolate milking this sounds good yep. <laughs> okay, well, you might have sent the wrong person to the nice circle, but I guess we're going to have to li live with that. Uh, next time we'll go try to get into the party. I, I don't think it'll happen. Um, and then we'll probably go to see the other person.